Bust that. Bust that. Uh. That is king. This is fine. This is fine. We are doing a okay. Uh, Hurry up, there we go. I can't, I can never remember if this is like actual waves, like I have to kill all the enemies, or if it's time. Okay, I think it is, like... I think this is, like, waves of enemies based. This should be the last guy. Come on. Okay, so it is. That does it for this room. Looks like I've only got one more crypt to go. So it's not timed. It's just enemy based, making me think it's timed. Okay. Good to know. Uh, bu -bu 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 No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, he's good. We're good. This room is full of water, so if anybody gets on my platform, I can just knock them in. Sorry about that. It's not ready yet. Hacha. It hasn't reset. Oh, come on. Still not ah! I was doing so good. It's requiring my brain. So sorry. I keep... I forgot there was one right behind me. I can... If they get too much for me over here, I can just go backwards. I keep forgetting there's like a... There's a thing behind me. A button. Okay, third time's the charm. Third times. Th th this is the one. That. That. Dead. 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 Watch out! Physics? 
Sometimes the, just the dumb shit he says. What is what is what does that have to do with it? Okay, now there's one mission left with Murray. I gotta go get the the guy. You know the guy. I gotta get the guy. There's a man's. I gotta get a guy. Please just tell teleport me back to the safe house. Son of a bitch. Okay. Of course, it couldn't be that easy. That <laughs> fuck. These tanks are tiny, realistically. Like, there's some character- like, Murray's bigger than the tank. Just beeline it, Murray. This is fine. How do I get up there? Shit. I'm fine. Son of a bitch. How do I... This is what I'm talking about. Trying to get anywhere with a character that isn't sly. To say things out of context, Canada's hey, is not even this hard. Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, but don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you The wanted. great equalizers. He might even come in handy along the way. As a projectile. Wow. That is handy. He's only, he's only afraid of two things. Death and taxes. Great. Now bring it back to the safe house. I marked it in your binocular. Yeah, I know. I know where I'm going. Nope, nope, nope. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm just gonna keep walking. Serpentine. Serpentine. 
Serpentine. Serpentine! Health. It didn't work. Serpentine didn't work. Jem, jem, satic, roof, gabbit, pit, tush, him. Great. Now bring him back to the safe house. I'm Barton in your banan you come. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Serpentine. Serpentine. Get back here. Old man muttering to himself. There we go. And now it's just a straight shot for the safe house. Is this bad a Nazi? I feel like this bad might be a Nazi. Let's hurt him. Well, well, General Clawfoot. We've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking. That's not how you torture a man. A Take his thumbs. <laughs> talk, you scoundrel. Wow. I've never heard somebody actually put that F inflection into Wow. Nobody fucking sounds like that. All right, fellas. Let's get down to business. Brass the first steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. No. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out. Bro, right away. I bought that shit right away. Um... I want to do Murray's mission first, um, just because it will clear up a lot of the tanks. I don't know if it'll clear out all the tanks. Flawless at this game. I'm so stealthy. Press both up to move forward, both down to go in reverse, and in opposite 
turrets and directions to rotate. To fire your turret, tap the R1 button. You'll need to take out six tanks to get the job done. I remember having issues with this a lot as a kid. We'll, we'll find out. Cause like the seats gotta go back farther than this. Those, those those tank controls make sense, right? Okay, guys, I'm in a tank. There's no way in hell. Say Rommel is my middle name. What? Was there like a, a, a like a World War II tank general or something named Rommel? That definitely sounds like a German name. Murray, are you okay? Okay, one guy left. This is fine. I'm doing pretty good. I'm just going to camp. for a while let's go and now I think No, why? I'm holding R1, which means I don't want to be in combat. Man, but I'm still like throwing my punches towards the enemy. Bad time. Okay. Let's get the goofy little green boy going. Where's the mission marker? Huh. How are you gonna hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorize my every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. 
Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? Yeah, it's fine. God, what I would give to just rip Bentley to a hundred little turtle pieces. Be useful. Thank you, iframes. Um, heal. It was worth a shot. Um, frames. We're playing Turtle Souls. Absolutely. Iframes are the only thing getting me through life. life had emotional iframes and you just you just couldn't get hurt like twice in a row emotionally speaking aha this acid battery should do the trick just walk close to the electrode and voila prepare to be hacked you knave I'm gonna have to ask Bentley to shut the fuck up. I, like, he just says, he says unnecessarily smart things so you know he's the smart character. Comes off as kind of a dweeb. Just a stereotypical nerd. Yeah, and that's the problem. He goes through a pretty good arc, I think, overall, like, within the franchise. Like, from the first, or the second to third game, I really enjoy his arc. I'll get you, Contessa! Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you! I'll get you, I'll get you. Was the I gang all playable in the first one? No. Yes, yes, the, so I've heard. Bentley was, like, not playable at all. In the first game, it was mostly Sly, and there were a couple different Murray missions, That's but it was, like, Murray's running through a gauntlet, and you I have to cover him with a turret as Sly. This and there were some rough. races Still in the first game where you played as Mur Murray uh, okay. controlling the van. Ready for another session of hacking oh. <laughs> The second he says, I better not get hit. I better not take any damage. Okay. But like, uh, the gang, all three of the members of the gang become playable in this one. In, um, in the third game, they, they add even more members to the gang, which is always fun. Um, camera. There we go. Yeah, they add... They add even more members to the gang. Um, they're not all controllable. That's a horrible camera angle. Yeah, the camera just kind of gets okay. caught in the corridor or in the hallway. <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, but in the third game, the bonus characters, like the, the people that they extend throughout the party, okay. um, they are not readily available from the safe house. You have to do... You have to start missions with the main three and then... Like, within the mission, the other playable characters will show up and be like, Oh, this is your this is your mission. We're going to work together. Let's go. In, uh, in the fourth game, they add some more playable characters that are available from the, the safe house, which is always a good time. I think in the, in the fourth game, it's anywhere from, like, three to five playable characters available from the safe house. That's always a good time. That's always fun. Nope. I still had the mentality of like, I can't get hit or I'll have to start all over again. 
but that's not the same in here. So the safe house is mission hub? Yeah. Um, in, in the fourth game, they add some mini games to the safe house, which is, which is pretty fun. There's like, uh, like, I think each one has like an arcade cabinet where you can play a game that's like the hacking mini game. Um, there's ping pong. You can play table tennis. Um, in the first few games, yeah, it's just a menu to pick your character or go to the shop. But I mean, like, it's a dynamic menu. It's, it's, it's more interesting than just pick a character, you know, they're sitting, hanging out. Um, in some of the levels, like in this, in this game, you bug the office of, um, the bad guy. So, like, if you're just hanging out in the safe house, every now and then on the radio, like, a message from the villain will show up being like, I'm increasing patrols, or something like that. Be on the lookout, guards. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think that's how you meant it. I didn't, I didn't think... I, I didn't think that. It was just... Uh, I guess it's just clarification on my end. There we go. Playable hubs are new relative to the PS2. Oh, yeah. No, from the PS2, definitely not. Playable... Oh. There we go. Oh, come on, he was right in front of me. Don't need to kill that thing, I just have to get into the port. Here we go. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight legged cow! No! With that old computer powered up, my work here is done. Okay, cool. And then we're just gonna run back to the safe house before we die pick up sly so it should be one sly mission and then the final mission here and then we're done in uh the czech republic I think, um, yeah, so it's a PS2 game, three playable characters. I would say that the three playable characters are unique enough to make a difference. I feel like, even even though Sly is the main character, so it makes sense, I feel like Sly has a slight power imbalance for having the most mobility throughout a level. And they fix it a little bit in the third one. Bentley gets a lot of good mobility in the third one. Yeah, it's not annoying to play as the other ones. I don't mind, because, like, the, the thing that Bentley does that I don't use a lot of is when he goes into his first-person mode, like, when he goes, when he aims, he has he has his crossbow, and he can shoot sleep darts at enemies to, like, to, like, knock them out for a second and move past. So that's kind of his stealth mechanic, is to knock out guards and move past before they wake up, whereas Sly is just all about mobility and just going up and around. 
M Murray... Murray definitely... But you don't need to do stealth. Yeah, you don't need to do stealth. Like, I've... It's... I've been dying more, but I've been able to work my way through uh, this game no problem. Um... I just think I just think Sly is, and it makes sense. He's the main character. Is the most fun to play. He has the most mobility. Um, he has a stealth kill. He has lots of fun gadgets and stuff that I don't have or I don't use. Like he has a he has a shock attack that just kills an enemy. Do you get rewarded for stealth? You get rewarded for stealth in the sense that like if you sneak up on a guard, you can pick their pocket. And if their pocket is glowing, that means they have something in there worth a lot of money that you can sell. So, like, you can stealth around, pick a lot of pockets, and grind out money really easily. But, I mean, there isn't, like, a... The missions aren't, like, you can do this stealthy and do it better, or brute force your way. It's not like upgrades or bonuses past that. Not really. So I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and I mean there's for our side. some upgrades. control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. I would say that um like in the in the first game I'm sorry just if there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First steal a wiretap and the voice Yeah, there's there's not like a no alert run. I'm on it. But I mean, like, in terms of uh, stealth upgrades, you get things like uh, invisibility. That's a fun one. Uh, at least you get invisibility in the first game. I don't know if invisibility comes back in the second one. It definitely does in the third game. Shit. Oh, there I go. This is fine. I'm just gonna hide out until they forget I exist. Yeah, there's not really a no stealth run. You don't get any kind of perks or bonuses for making it through like a whole mission without being seen. Um, there is, there is kind of the, there, there's some stuff you can steal throughout the levels. Um, I haven't really done it today, but you can like, whoops. You can um, steal some stuff and then like run it back to the safe house, and it's like if you don't get if you don't get caught, like if you don't get hit, and you make it back to the safe house, you can sell it for you know three times as much as anything you could pickpocket. There's some side incentive for stealth, but nothing uh, nothing major. There, I mean, there's some missions where there are some missions where the uh, the basis is don't get caught, like don't get spotted. There's some missions that are like that, but throughout the whole game, no. It's... Um... Is this the wrong area with two keys? What else is there? Son of a bitch. Okay. There's like an essence to this that I don't think I grasp, and that's why I asked. So, it's a platformer before it's a stealth game. That is what I, that that is the best way I can describe it. It is a mascot platformer with stealth mechanics. And the stealth mechanics don't really go beyond um, line of sight. I guess there's some sound stuff in this. Yeah, it's a it's a platformer that has the flavor of a stealth game. And so they're they're prioritizing making the platforming fun before making the stealth as optimal. And it's still pretty optimal stealth. Um, I would I would say that like. You know, line of sight, sound, it has all, it checks a lot of the boxes for early stealth games. 
Um, there's some levels of camo where, like, you can hop in barrels and not get, not be seen. But I wouldn't call this a I wouldn't call this a stealth game in the purest of sense. That's fine. We're good. Oh, shit. This is fine. I just wanted whatever was in his pocket. And see, like, this is this is some instances where, like, it's stealth or combat. You know, like, if you're not spotted and you can, like, sneak your way through. If you can sneak your way through without being spotted, you don't have to do the combat. But. Big whoop. Um... Use the crook uh, to grab onto the bottom of those planes. Stealth using the drop from a place. That'd be pretty cool. Um, in, in some of the later levels in this game, there's a, uh, there's like steam vents and stuff where if you use the paraglider, it like lifts you up so you're higher up and then you can like glide down using the paraglider. That's pretty fun. What did I get? Bombs? Rage bombs. You've gotten the rage bomb. I'm pretty sure the rage bombs um like make enemies attack each other. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Nothing more stealthy than an explosion. Exactly. See, and this is like a stealth mission because I can't I can't kill the guards until I rob them. If I kill them, I don't get uh, the thing in their pockets. So I gotta make sure they die first, or I gotta make sure I rob them first, and then I can kill them. Why was Excalibur glowing? Uh, oh, I was on a plane. Um, so the. If it was glowing like this, that is jump and hit the circle button. Anything that glows blue like that is stuff I can interact with with the circle button for all of like uh, my stealthing techniques. It's it's a big thing in the games to just jump and hit the circle button. Bentley repeats that so much to you. Ad nauseum. It's just make sure you jump and hit the circle button. That's like the only mechanic you're taught throughout the whole and they they keep reminding you because in the in the tutorial level they tell you anytime you see the blue aura that's a circle button thing and then every time you get a new move he reminds you about the circle button thing like you couldn't remember it's the best yeah any 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 pickups in this game are just automatic like when I pickpocket an enemy it just automatically puts it like that nice job the room with the voice modulator is marked in your binocu cops so what's the deal with bottles um bad guys are stupid and they put clues to the combinations to their big safe. Like, I just opened a safe that gave me the bombs. Uh, the only way I can open those save, th those saves is if I get all of the bottles in a level. 
and the bad guys are stupid enough to put clues to their combinations in all these bottles. Instead of just, you know, remembering the combination. The first one is wildly different in terms of, like, setup. Like, it would be a hub world divided into a bunch of smaller levels, and each level had, like, 20 to 30 bottles with a safe in it. It's tough being a dumb mook. I did. Benley, shut the fuck up. He'll hear you. Rob him blind. Harpoon his ass. What? I said harpoon his ass. There we go. Why was it so hard to harpoon his ass? Oh yeah, this is great. <laughs> this NPC cannot be killed. Sly rummage through people's garbage. I mean, that's basically what he does. He just he he busts everybody's shit up. Like he'll he'll break everything on the streets. He'll break a couch and find like five dollars in the cush cushions. I don't think there's any garbage cans in this level, but you can definitely bust up. Uh, I think the first level in this game, the Paris level, has some garbage cans you can bust up and get free money out of. DoorDash man, away! There he goes. Where are they? God damn it. So many keys. Yeah, no, it's a great time. Bye. Oh, we're almost done with this level. Not to say I don't appreciate the spooky level. I always appreciate a good uh, spooky level. Oh, cool. They're both right next to each other. Great. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Oh, don't kill each other. Don't kill each other. I couldn't risk them killing each other. Because then I wouldn't get the... they go okay they're going all the way around the other side of the building key Let's get the fuck out of here. Now head for the runoff drains near the riverside. They should lead to the sewer. Okay. 
I hit the wrong one. I was like, one of these has got to be a dude. Oh. Now, this is where... This is where I first was. This is where I thought I had to go. We're fine. It's all good. According to my blueprints, this sewer should take you underneath Neela's headquarters. I like how there was like tentacles and stuff in this in the other sewer that we were in. Like there was a monster down there. And we just never touch on that. Yeah, like this never gets expanded upon. It's just that's just how that's just what's going on. That's just how it is. It's fine. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. It's going to be wizard. This is going to be so wizard. Okay. Take me away. Whisk me away. To the final part it's of the job. It's time to wage war on the castle. And in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the Bad Mojo Bomb, and presto, the Clockwork Eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, Let's take our positions and get this thing started. I love how almost everything about the clockwork parts is so much smaller than it was in the first game. Except, like, the wings. Because clockwork was massive. There's, like, no... Health extractor. Capture guards extract medicine. Raging Inferno flop. Uh... It's a Murray mission. I see the indicator. All right, Murray. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Cool. Cool. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna <laughs> get ugly. Oh, yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces. The castle defenses, defenses are down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge for victory, for glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, Feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. No, it's fine, coward. Hey, we got a little little belly on our back. Let's go. I don't even need to grab the the wire. I don't even need to grab the rope. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Oh. 
That's All fine. Right. Let's head for the re-education tower. Do I have to pilot the tank again as Murray? Murray was talking about finding some extra firepower. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? Yeah. All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! Yeah. What she said. Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Uh, okay, so clever. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. How do we feel about the Contessa? I, was, I, I always think about this, that like, almost every design in these games is believable, like for anthropomorphic animals, except the Contessa. Something about the Drider, something about like, Anthro Spider like that, not believable to me. It's fine. We're doing fine. That should do it. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. That a fact? Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! God, she's such a bad shot. For real. That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley, you okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley! Take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But the plan, it, this wasn't in the plan. It's called adapt. Adapt or die, turtle. Attention all bombers. Focus your attack on the contestant's blimp. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. It's almost like the game's been training me for these missions with the other in 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 Paris and then in in the Indian jungle It's been training me for these tail Neela missions but also, Neil Neil I feels like an other really underrated character. <laughs> okay, I had that coming. I was trying to go right through it like she did. I had that coming. You really 
should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. Clockwork's eye. And those are so much bigger than what was actually displayed. Don't you dare. That eye is mine. It's mine! Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Yeah. Take it. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turn and stay sharp. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. E physics. What does that have to do with it? Why do you say E physics? Where do physics play into the turret? I'm guard. I appreciate that the biplanes are all a bright ass green. See, that's not fair. It's firing on me before I can do anything about him. Lame. That did it. The sky's all clear. Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Yeah, you good. Can you read me? Carmelita. belongs to me and I want it back no way you think I'm crazy actually on second thought don't answer that I really don't want your professional opinion not crazy just stupid you're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy oh I know all about you and the Cooper clan then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed short-sighted fool I have no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. Yeah? And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. What? <laughs> there we go. And there's no kind of health up here. No, you're safe. That's all that matters. We can get the eye another day. Bentley's safe. That's all that matters. Enough. Bros before foes. Of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know enough, huh? enough Oof. to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! How's this thing going? Correct. What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye! And she's 
trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Murray. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. Shoot at her tank to incapacitate it. Note to self. Avoid explosive barrels. Come on. Oh, I feel like there's a point where she, like she'll be able to get away and I'm going to fail the mission. Too little too late, I feel. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita oh, fuck. is still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick I thought that was it. I thought she escaped and I failed. Wow. Do what you can, Sly. We'll all hook up at the rendezvous for extraction. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. Yes, yeah, so I just won't get hit. She's gonna try and like reverse my controls. All I gotta do is hit her in the ass. Bam! Easiest boss fight. Easy. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Dun, dun, dun. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan. But Those eyes are tiny. Clean, and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Mila, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control, and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. All right, and I'm gonna call it there. I think I think now's a good place to leave it. Uh, up next, we got. Oh, we can do that. We can do the first cutscene. Let's do the first cutscene for the next mission, and then I'm gonna call it there.
Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Yeah, baby, time for a train heist. Oh, I'm excited. I like the Canada levels. There's two of them. Spoiler alert. But, worry about that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who stopped by, said hi. I always appreciate company with these. Just out here having a good time. And after this, uh, Wednesday, it's, uh, back to Jack 2. God, I'm not excited. <laughs> but, I digress. Thank you so much for watching. Be good. Be kind. Treat people the way you want to be treated. And I'll catch you in the next one.